Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on operating system. In this session, I shall discuss about the EXE system call. So this is a system call under the process category. We started with fork, wait and then EXEC. So what is the job of EXEC system call? Fork which we have already seen that it will create a duplicate process. Fine. So when it creates a duplicate process, that created process is called as the child process okay and the process which has created becomes the parent process and as i said the child and the parent process both will run concurrently now we do not want these two processes run the same code as it is a duplicate process that means the child process is also running the same code and the parent process is also running the same code we do not want these two processes to run the same code we want the child process to run a different code so to achieve this we have another system call called as exec now exec will overlay what do you mean by overlay it will replace the existing code with a new block of code so how exactly it happens i'll show you with the demo program and exec we have a variant of exec here we have to use exec v this will accept two arguments one should be the file name okay the code of this file name the code of this file should be replaced now with the current code so that file name you have to specify here followed by the arguments so this is the format here for ex ecv because we want the existing that means the child process is running the same code as that of the parent if we want the child process to run a different code so where is the different code present that different code is present in some file so that file name you have to specify here so i'll show you with the demo program in order to demonstrate this i require here two files first file is what which is having the code wherein i am using exec system call and second file is what another file that file name i'll be using here because i want this program to get replaced with the code of this second file that second file name i need to specify here so i'll create one file here first with execv then i'll create another file here so that i'll use this file name in exec system call so first file name i'm giving the name as example.c so these header files now where exactly this execv is used here so what i'm doing in the program is so here we are printing the PID of this file which file we have created one file example.c for the same file we want to know the PID here we are using some arguments we have declared here an array of character pointer and the last argument should always be a null pointer this is the rule actually you write here some argument argument 0 argument 1 but the last one should be always the null pointer so write here some arguments then you have to use this execv execv in the bracket you are going to write down this now what is this i'll tell you followed by arguments then i am writing one printf statement back to example.c one more printf statement have a nice day this is one file which i have created wherein i am using execv now i want this current file okay this particular file to get replaced with some other code that code is present in another file here the second file i am giving this file name as hello.c in this file i am writing like this okay first header files okay then the main starts here i am just printing two statements we are in hello.c and pid of hello is so for this hello.c what is the pid we can get from get pid even in this program i am trying to get the pid here you can see for example.c also i want to get the pid and for hello.c also i want to get the pid so one printf is only to get the pid of that process and now we have to see how this execv works so first let us execute these two programs see let me execute this cc that means i'll use the compilation command cc ex example dot c and i'll get the output a dot dot slash a dot out then i can execute this also cc hello dot c dot slash a dot out and what is that i am doing here in the exec hel dot slash hello dot slash hello if i'm using here it is it is ac actually giving me the output for this hello so how do i collect the output for the hello program for that because if i simply use dot slash a dot out first for the example i'll get the output okay in a dot out but immediately after that i'll be executing hello dot c 
for that i'll be using dot slash a dot out then this a dot out okay whatever was the output earlier here for the example dot c will get replaced with the output of hello dot c but i need the output separately for this example dot c also and i need output separately for this hello dot c also for that this is the way we can store the output in some file so now i am using the command cc hyphen o that means the output you have to use this is the format actually your source file is example dot c when you compile this you can store this output in example for that you have to make use of hyphen o then write the file name example or whatever name you give here in that particular file the output of example dot c will be stored similarly i'll execute the second file hello dot c cc this is my source program so the output of this will be present in hello now since output i can get from this hello so if i have to get the output from hello hello file has got only two printf statements so i'll be getting these two lines we are in hello dot c and pid of hello to get the output i have to use dot slash hello fine so that dot slash hello i'm using here in the first file along with execv so once i use this whatever lines are there after this okay after this execv whatever lines of code are present it will be replaced with the lines of code of hello dot c so let us see whether it has happened or not for that you will be what executing that file and you check the output for example dot c once you run this program okay example dot c once you check this output which is there in example you can see the output lines like this first line is pid of example dot c is 3598 from where did this line came so i'll show you i'll make it see this was your program pid of example that means your example dot c file started executing the first printf statement is here so get pid of this process yes the output has come it is 3598 after that this declaration is there then comes this system call this is what we wanted to check now in this system call you are trying to what use this exec here to get the remaining contents that means uh, exec here to completely replace the existing code so once you use this file name here the executable file hello whatever contents are there in hello will now be appearing in this example dot c that is why from here from this okay it will start replacing with the contents of hello and in hello we have two printf statements we are in hello dot c and pid of hello so those two statements have come here we are in hello dot c and pid of hello dot c now one thing you observe even the pid of example dot c is 3598 and hello dot c is 3598 so and it has to be same the reason is this ex ecv system call has replaced the existing program with the new program so once you replace you are actually having one program only so definitely the pid should remain same for that program that's the reason we'll get the same pid here but in case of folk system call when it creates a child process the parent will get one pid and the child will get a new pid that means the pid is different here but when once a existing program is replaced with a different program the pid of that program remains same so now you can see the output is like this and the last statement is pid of hello.c that pid of hello.c is in the hello program now it will stop here only it will not go back again to this because in the example we had written two more statements back to example have a nice day this will not get printed at all because from here onwards it has taken over to this program from here onwards okay hope you are getting the point exec will replace the current program with a new program where is the new program present it is present in some other file that some other file is hello.c here and the contents of that will be printed in the output when you execute example.c so this is how exec system call is used in unix so all these system calls whatever i have explained fork wait and exec system call are for the operating system unix hope you got to know now the use of this system calls in the user program and if you find this session useful Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye bye and take care.